Yep. What I'm about to tell you. I'm writing a book. That'll be 200 some pages to put it in details. And I'll be doing a full spectrum human seminar one day and webcast, hopefully. And I'm going to keep at it. This very topic. It's the one I always talk about. But it's my particular message or what I want to do. And it comes in multi-varied ways, of course. Unhealed people create an unhealed world. Healed people, whole people, holy people create a holy, whole, healed world. Unholy, unhealed people create an unholy, unhealed world. Holy, healed people create a holy, healed world. Of course. Here's the key. Because you radiate. So, just like transparency, so you have a projector. Whatever you put in front of the, the, the light is what shines on the wall. So, what's ever in your energy field shines your light, your pure light, your soul light, shines through your programming. And so, that's what you throw on the wall. That's what you project. So you can't. So when you're not healed, when you're full of toxic stuff, drama, trauma, and karma, no matter how much you try to polish the surface, if there's lead paint on the wall, you can't paint over it. It's still there, toxifying the environment. You can't put lipstick on a pig and make her a beauty queen. She's beautiful the way she is, but she's not going to be... You can't dress yourself up. You have to clean yourself up. So the biggest half-truth is when someone says to assert on top of the toxicity stuff. Let's say here's your lake. You've been dumping toxic paint and chemicals in it for a long time but it looks so peaceful on the surface you have peace but it's toxic as hell you can't swim in the pond no fish can grow there so the spiritual half truth that gets you is if you put on the facade of oh dear one if you just feel the love, we're all love. We're all one. Just choose it right now. You don't have to do anything. Eh, fail. Why? Because the toxic pond, suppressed emotion, suppressed drama, trauma, and karma, toxifies the room and the whole planet. When some toxic person walks into a room, you can feel it. Your dog can feel it. Everybody can feel it. They're not a bad person. We've all got drama, trauma, and karma. But you have to detoxify yourself. So this idea of let's start a spiritual movement and proclaim peace, that creates peace protesters that get violent and punch people in the face because you don't want p peace like us. Now, it's a perfect learning mechanism. But so the half-truth is that you think you can chant heaven into being. Om Mani Padme Om. can be very helpful, or it can be used as a suppressant. You get it? If you're trying to assert peace, assert a, a uh, enlightened planet without cleaning your own basement, it's never going to work because you're projecting it's inside you. You can move to the gated community, but your own suppressed shit's going to create cancer in, in your kidneys or in your liver, your suppressed anger. This will save us millions of lives and planets destroyed and lots of suffering. Now, in a sense, the universe is amoral. <laughs> it says, learn, learn the hard way or learn the easy way. Get it now. Pay me now or pay me, you know. 
it can't change the laws of spiritual physics. So the half truth that, that'll get you and it'll hurt you forever is if I keep pushing for the good, see it's that pushing thing, notice? Mm. That will get you. You can't push for heaven. You can't chant heaven into being. You can allow the natural energy of your life force in your spine to clean you. When you have a fever, it's for a reason. It's trying to burn something out of you. So if you keep suppressing the natural healing and telling the body and the mind and the heart, no, no, you, you're repressing, suppressing it. If you don't allow the fever, it can't clean you. If you keep continually suppressing your body's natural healing mechanisms, eventually you're killing yourself. So you have to let it surface. Because you'll have people up on stage going, if we just claim peace, we'll finally have it. Oops, did I punch you in the face by doing that? If we just get peace, boom. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. You cannot, you can chant and march and push and proselytize, start religions, start movements, but unless you heal yourself, a healed person, don't you know ye are little gods? One healed God, a thousand healed Buddhas, changes the morphic field much more than a billion people protesting, pushing, chanting, invoking, praying for. Prayers are mostly black magic. Prayers are mostly you not trusting the Tao, Source. Like George Carlin says, well, why pray? I figure God hears everything, so he already knows what I want. I don't want to bother him. I don't want to beg from him. Could you please help my son make it through college? Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to do that, sure. But if it's beggary, it doesn't work. So the biggest half-truth is that you can somehow paint over the sins, the karmas, the, sum, the, the suppressed stuff, and somehow make it better. No, you have to clean the lake, drain the swamp. I'm not aligning with Trump's thing on that. I, I agree with that concept. Yes, but it's... Anyway, you need to drain the pond. Take out the old toxic paint cans. Let it re refresh itself. Then you can have your Garden of Eden. Then you can have a clean living waters. Peaceful on top is fake. I. And you can feel it. I. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's awesome. Let's get high, high and avoid our shit. That will bring you Reagan and Wars and Oliver North. The hippies reaped all that, you know? So, the biggest half-truth is that somehow, because you get the concept of it, you're being conned. You have to make the whole body, the emotions, the full-spectrum human aligned and fully healed. If you don't do that, because you're the projector, you will keep, as within, so without. You're the projector and reflector. Your world, my world is a reflection of me. So if you don't do the inner cleaning, paradise will never come. Why? Because you're like the fucking donkey with a carrot hanging out here. You want it, but you, you don't stop and you never stop. Be still and know that I'm God. So... You have to make yourself whole, which means cleaning. Currently on Earth, we're basically all toxic. If you can walk on water and dissolve your body into light, okay. I'm not talking to you. 
But if you can't do that, you've got some learning to do, Lucy, which is mostly detoxing yourself. Once you detox it, the living waters flow in automatically. So us all agreeing, going to, you know, some famous spiritual teacher's giant conference, and we all meditate for world peace. Helpful. Because spirit source, Father, Mother, God, hears the intention. But you can never receive the free energy, the Garden of Eden, the ecstasy in your body, unless you clean yourself out. The water can't come in. So we can all sit around and agree and meditate and do all that shit forever. You still won't have it. It won't come in. Because you're so full of stuff, there's no room for it to come in. Don't worry. Water flows in that easily. When you're at the beach and you make a hole by close to the water, the water flows in naturally. To the chagrin and consternation of little kids everywhere. <laughs> it destroys their little castle. Don't worry. Father, Mother, God, Source, they got it handled. They'll automatically flow into you like water. Your job is to clean the debris out. If you don't do that, you become one of those teachers that you don't do it for yourself. You do it for everyone else, and the world's full of them. So, asserting heaven Pushing for heaven without making room inside yourself, without healing yourself, will never work. It puts you on a time loop and you get what's called history or her story. And it goes on forever. Literally. Because you create time. Time's made up. It goes on forever. Therefore, eternal, quote, hells or eternal samskara. Experience. So if you decide to heal yourself, it's not easy. It'll kick your ass. It'll confront every potential little concept that has conned you in your head and your heart and your sex. We've been infected in all the seven temples. Seven temples are your chakras. But the chakras don't exist, Tobias. Yes, ultimately that's true. But right now they do. You can say, I don't have a body. Okay, jump off the cliff. Oops, what happened? Get real. Keep it grounded concepts will mess you up concepts to motivate you to inspire you cool world peace free energy personal ufos no more eating animals awesome concepts but you can't do it in the laboratory in quote the real world unless you clean yourself out so you can let the living waters into you and actually experience the reality of that concept And then when we do, we can all join at the Blue Buddha Cafe and play some music. <laughs> all right. I'm writing a 200 plus page book detailing the details for you. I'm going to hopefully, if Spirit lets me and I want to and whatever, you can never know. Don't count your boobies or your chickens before they're unveiled, <laughs> hatched. <laughs> I want to do full spectrum human one day seminars where we just get it and then we go and do the work and start enjoying ourselves as we bring paradise, heaven closer and closer. It's time. But these deep half truths are what has messed things up as we've gotten close. These deep half truths. If you do not clean yourself out, how can you let heaven into yourself? You just live another life. Yep, died of some, you know, cancer, whatever. Cancer's popular lately. Or World War III, collective uh, death wish, lemmings, you know. You can have that too. I recommend healing yourself. It gets really cool. Things happen instantly. Uh, I'm back in Phoenix right now, but in Sedona, like two nights ago, I'm driving through the main part of West Sedona, and 
I hear Don Juan's voice disrupting the routines of life. Or Sai Baba saying, love my unpredictability. Go with the moment. And I, I go, great. And it says, now usually I go to this one grocery store. You know how we always get in ruts and habits. We can't, it's just because we're polar bears in zoos. We're castrated horses. We get in ruts. Disrupt the routines of life. Listen to the still small voice that says, do this. And it says, stop. Go into Whole Foods. And I haven't usually liked for the years when I didn't have money. I always felt like, oh my God, I, I can't, the food's so expensive at Whole Foods and whatever. And I always felt a little uncomfortable. It was a little too what I'm talking about. Oh, look how enlightened we are. And underneath, I would just feel all this shit underneath. And something felt discordant. Now, that's a reflection of me at the time. So this time, Spirit says, stop at Whole Foods. I go, okay. So I go in there. And magic happens. Crazy. I run into old friends. A whole new thing happens. Instantly. Because I had this feeling of, I don't want to do my old routine. Go to lunch with the same people. You know, or these old, where we all sit around and go, yeah, look how superior our spirituality is and look how stupid the uncle is. Yeah. Ah, I don't want any of that. I want new moment, in the moment, in spiritation. Instantly honored by the universe when I followed what this still small voice prompted. I run into an old friend, but it's in a whole new way. I haven't seen her for five, six years. I run into a couple of new people. There's all this fun and play that starts. I lose my keys. I leave it in the basket, which starts a whole another round of fun and play, of hunting for them and finding them. Thank you, God. It got real in the moment. Instantly honored by the universe. Finding $100 bills in the air, leave my airport. My angels say, stop, look. There's a brand new minted $100 bill. It's a thousand people walking through the airport. What are they, you know? The Spirit just told me, here, yeah, you want to see how instantly we can, you know, manifest things? I know, don't get freaked out. Money is the hardest thing for people. Our greed monster goes apeshit. So, decide to heal yourself. And don't worry. The living waters of fun and instant reflection as I'm willing to play, the universe totally meets me. It's begging to meet you, but you have to make the room inside yourself. Rumi did, and he had a good time. Moment of intention. I intend more and more of me living in the moment. Drop that intention. I just feel it right now. You do your own intention, you know, free energy if we want that on the planet, so forth. Obfuscations revealed, the occult crap gone. If there's sex pedophilia rings that go on on the planet, I want them exposed because it really hurts humanity on a deep level. It's coming, by the way. The sex pedophilia rings in the next year or two. Huge revelations of, you know, elite people that do some really nasty stuff. I want that off the planet. But ask for yourself what you want as well. Intend. I want to feel good in my body more and more. I want the permanent ecstasy, the permanent vacation. Wherever I am in the moment, I'm enjoying myself. In joy. Ah, myself. Much love. More later.